is Beth again. Hey, a big shout out to my cousin Diana and her daughters, Lily and Yara, and everybody else who's listening. I got some books about friends. I got two stories. Peanut Butter and Jellyfish and Bedtime for Bear. Let's read them together. Peanut Butter and Jellyfish Peanut Butter and Jellyfish were best of friends. Best of friends who spent their days exploring up down, around, and through their grand ocean home. Unluckily for them, though, they lived near Krabby. You guys swim like humans, he would taunt as they slipped past. Peanut butter and jellyfish did their best to ignore the heckler. Did you hear something? asked Jellyfish. No, must be the current, said Peanut Butter. So they just ignored him. Krabby was relentless. He kept bugging them. You guys smell like rotten barnacles, P.U. I've seen sea snails swim with more style. My grandma called. She wants her run walk shoes back. What a bunch of bubble heads! Krabby was not very nice. Jellyfish puffed up his chest and said, Driftwood and sea stones may break our bones, but words will never hurt us. Oh, said Krabby, you're an invertebrate. You don't even have any bones, huffed Krabby as he marched along his favorite rock by himself. One day, as Peanut Butter and Jellyfish set out on an excursion to the Great Reef, they swam past Krabby's perch. They braced themselves for the usual insults, but all was quiet. Then they heard the faint sound of sobbing up ahead. It was Krabby. He was caught in a lobster trap. And it was being lifted to the surface. I'm scared, he cried. Surely he was doomed. Should we help? asked Jellyfish. The two friends shared a look. Well, he is in serious trouble, said Peanut Butter. You're right. We have to help, explained Jellyfish. But how? I have a plan, said Peanut Butter. Follow me. They swam up to the lobster trap. Peanut Butter used his tail to unlock the trap's gate. But Krabby didn't budge. Come on, you're free, said Peanut Butter. But, but I can't swim, said Krabby, and I'm afraid of heights. The lobster trap was getting pulled closer up to the surface. Plan B, explained Jellyfish. He worked furiously on untying the trap's knot. Hurry, cried Peanut Butter. I can see the fishermen above. Just when all hope was lost, the knot gave out, sending the trap plummeting down. Peanut Butter and Jellyfish grabbed a hold and lowered it to safely to the bottom. Krabby's legs wobbled as he returned to his favorite rock. Thanks, you two, he stuttered. You know, I'm sorry for saying those mean things, Krabby said. He may have been afraid of heights, but Krabby was also brave enough to apologize. I guess I was jealous. You guys seem like you're having so much fun exploring the ocean waters. Well, there's plenty to explore close to the ocean floor, too, said Jellyfish. Peanut Butter and Jellyfish still swam up and down and around and through, but it was on the ocean floor that they found their greatest treasure. Yes, gold 
and coins, but also a new friend named Krabby. Bedtime for Bear. Yawn. It was just after the first snowfall when Bear's friends came running to his house. Hey Bear! Come out and play! Bear rolled over. Please? We won't see you again until spring. No, I can't play. It's bedtime for bears. And he tried to sleep. But Bear heard his friends playing outside. <laughs> Bear grumbled and closed his eyes. But Bear could still hear his friends laughing. <laughs> he could still hear his friends playing. <laughs> Bear opened the door. Come on, you guys. I'm trying to sleep. It's bedtime for bears. And then they threw a snowball. Splat! Right smack. Hit him in the head. Bear wasn't happy. Go away. Let me sleep. But then Bear tripped. He flipped and slipped and tumbled down the hill. Thump! Bear was wet. He was covered in snow. He was laughing. <laughs> hey, Bear, let's do it again. And they did. Again and again. And again, up and down the hill. Hey, Bear, follow me, said his friends. There was snow to roll and stack. One, two, three snowballs. Ta-da! Bear had made a snow bear. Pretty cool. Then they started to throw snowballs at each other, having a great old time. There was lots of snow to throw. Hee hee! Hoo hoo! Ha ha! Those friends were having so much fun together in the snow. Hey bear! We're tired. It's late. Isn't it bedtime for bears? How about just one more time? I won't see you again until spring. So, down they slid, over and over. And now it was getting dark. Good night, friends. Night. Bear had a yawn. <sighs> it was bedtime for Bear. Hey, Bear, said his friends. See you in the spring. Well, bedtime for Bear. You know what? Bears do sleep. They need a lot of sleep in the winter time. But his friends wanted to keep playing with him because they wouldn't see him till spring. I'm glad they had fun together. And then he got to have a good rest at the end. I bet his friends, the raccoons, did too. And the other story? Peanut butter and jellyfish. They have so much fun swimming in the ocean, but Krabby, Krabby, hmm, he wasn't very nice. You know what, friends? I hope that you make good choices having good friendships. And if there is somebody that's not being very nice, try to be kind to them. Because maybe they're jealous or they're just lonely. Everybody needs a friend. Okay, my friends, I hope you enjoyed this story. See you next.